Hey, what's going on guys? Garden Shed here and welcome. So today we're going to be talking about tank bags. Now I'll show you my tank bag in a second. What I use my tank bag for and how I pack it. You know, there's different people who put different things in the tank bag depending on where they're going, what they're doing, etc. But generally the contents of mine don't change. It only really changes whether I'm doing a full tour or if I'm just out you know, for a long day trip. If you're familiar to the channel, obviously you know I've got a V-Strom and it's got top box. Um, out of preference, I always try and leave my top box empty. And it means that when I stop somewhere, I don't have to carry around a helmet and stuff like that. I can just put my helmet in the top box, lock it away. Regardless of whether, you know, I'm just out for the day or whether I'm touring, etc., I always leave my top box empty or as empty as possible. Those of you that are familiar with the channel will know that I have owned a variety of different bikes over the years and I actually have four different tank bags. So all of them are on the Jivy tank lock system and I really like this system because effectively, if you're not familiar with it, there's a little bracket that goes into the fuel tank. You just take out the original tank bolts, fit a specific adapter to your bike and this plastic ring bit, bolt it down, no holes drilled, even I can do it and it takes me about a minute. And then it's on there for the re remaining time you have the bike. And all you have to do is just plonk the tank bag on, quick jiggle and it locks into place. And it's absolutely brilliant. So, you know, if you've got multiple bikes and things like that, or you want to take your tank bag off, you're not fiddling around with straps, you just pull a little lever and lift straight off. Put everything in my tank bag that I'm going to need throughout the day. I have got different tank bags from when I had different bikes. This one's really good because it actually sits on top of the V-Strom and then it sort of follows where it curves away, which is really nice. I've still got my tank bag that I used on my Honda and my Kawasaki, and that sort of tapers off as it goes down. And um, that's brilliant because obviously you're more length forward on those bikes, so you're not catching yourself on that. I think that's the thing, when you are looking at tank bags and things like that, it's worth if the shop will allow you wandering out your bike, sort of expanding it as such, and just placing it on your bike and seeing, you know, how it fits with your bike. Obviously, it's really important to pick one that doesn't interfere with steering. Although this is 20 litres and absolutely massive, on the V-Strom, I can turn it lock to lock, no problem at all. And even when that's full, it doesn't catch or anything, and I can do it with my hands on the handlebars. Um, so it's brilliant really. Whether I'm out for a ride or touring, I tend to leave my top box empty unless it is literally just a ride with mates and I don't need anything else with me and then I can pack it in a certain way that I can still get my helmet in. When I'm sort of touring and stuff like that, I will always ensure I have my tank bag with me and I always leave my top box empty. And that is, so when I stop, I have space to put my helmet, lock it away. I'm not having to lug it around with me. But also, you know, if you're camping or something like that or staying away and you want to get some food or some, thing you know you've got that space you're not packed to the hilt you get to struggle to fit your food in and your little thing of milk that you buy is just gonna go bang everywhere as soon as you try and squeeze it in as a tendency like i say i always leave my top box empty so anyway let's go into the tank bag and how i pack it obviously tank bag as i say got a big large window ignore that little note it's I believe it's a note from a motor vlog, something to do with testing standards on helmets. So um, so we've got the main compartment in there, and then we've got these three little outer pockets. If we go through the main compartment first, when I pack a tank bag, what I like to do is have everything that I'll need to hand throughout the day in my tank bag. It does have this waterproof lining in there. So I don't know how well you can see in here. So it's everything I need. So in case for my earplugs, try and pack it in the order that I need stuff. So wallet always useful that is the case for my drift camera and my helmet camera that's the rain cover for the bag unfortunately this little pop thing broke shortly after i bought it but the rain cover works really well batteries for my drift waterproof gloves obviously really useful to have on hand um it means you can hopefully pull over really quickly whip your old gloves off put your waterproof gloves on and you know, having to get off the bike, route or through luggage to find them, etc. Visor sponge, which I always take with me when I'm touring. Also in here, which I haven't got in here at the moment, I will tend to include food and drink. Um, so I have a few snack bars and things and a bottle of water if I'm not using a camelback just to sort of keep my energy levels up. And then, you know, it can be little things. So if even though I have a sat nav and I got into the habit prior to having a sat nav and writing directions, I will always keep some paper in here and a few felt tip pens. And it means I can squiggle down something if I need to, like the name, particular name of a building or something, um, if I'm trying to find that. Or it's just useful. Again, also I'll keep a piece of paper in here 
or a couple of pieces of paper in my sat nav case which but i'll also have my sat nav case in here as well um, and in the sat nav case i'll have a couple of pieces of paper and it will basically have addresses and things written down of where i'm staying so that's the main compartment you don't really need a huge amount as i say it's just the stuff you're really going to need so obviously i like to keep my helmet cam handy batteries because the batteries go every few hours they take up actually quite a lot of space and the majority of people although helmet cameras and things to record your trips are becoming more common practice a lot of people don't use them so you know naturally the camera gear is incredibly bulky normally it needs to be in some sort of protective case the way i pack the waterproof gloves means i can actually tilt a drinks bottle from the bottom up so it doesn't leak so i can fit a drinks bottle and some snack bars in there for sustenance so in this outside pocket when i'm touring i'll keep a small tire pressure gauge and also one of these tire valve extenders really really useful i've had some bikes with sort of right angle tire valves which are brilliant but obviously but sometimes when you pull up at a garage or up to they have the solid metal ends on the tire pumps as a result a lot of bikes you can't get to the tire valve with it because there's no flex in it so one of those always incredibly useful because chances are you, your tires will be low or whatever and you will go to four or five petrol stations they'll all have the solid metal tire pump things with no flex in them and you won't be able to do it so one of these incredibly useful alternatively some bikes and i think you can get them after mark have right angle valves on if i am touring um I never put my phone in my tank bag, I always keep it on me because obviously you can end up in a pile far away from the bike. Yeah, you want your phone on you. But if I am touring, I always take a little cheap pair to go phone with me. I have to say, I have actually had to use it on a number of occasions where I've had to make a call. There's been a bit of an issue. It's amazing actually, these old phones get signal where things like iPhone, Samsung will not get signal despite being on entirely the same network. It is bonkers. Yeah, for some reason these get much better signal. So I always keep one of those buried somewhere in my luggage, either in a pannier, in a tank bag, um, just in case it's needed. But yeah, um, so generally just keep that useful little bits and pieces. I might chuck some change in there after I've been to a um, petrol station, something like that, or a ticket for something. So, you know, if I'm getting Euro Tunnel or a ferry, etc., I might pop a ticket in there. And it's actually quite useful because the zip goes down halfway. You can sort of put things in sticking out. So like a ferry terminal, you can get all your paperwork out, plonk it in there and then ride through sort of the terminal and stuff. And when you have to show it numerous times, you can just plonk it in there. That's useful. Also put things like keys in there. And again, this little pocket, I found it really useful when I was in Europe. Um, I used to keep my a credit card in there so if I had to go on a toll road or whatever it was really easy just to get it in and out but it's basically about prioritizing everything now the great thing because the tank lock bags are so easy to take off stuff like my camera my sat nav I keep them in there because I take the bag away with me as soon as I step off the bike so I don't have to think about it or alternatively you know if these can get quite heavy to lug around Alternatively, this does fit inside my top box. So I could chuck this in my top box and take my helmet with me. It's entirely fluid on the situation, which is what I really like. And hopefully, you know, it's given you some ideas as to how you should pack your tank bag. Obviously, like I say, it's really just everything you need to hand. And so far, it's never actually failed me. So for the majority of the day, if I'm on the road, let's say I've got panniers on, I don't need to go into the pannier until the end of the day. You know, there's no stopping and faffing around and digging through deep panniers. Everything I have throughout the day is in my tank bag. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you ever so much for watching and take care.